of his golden cincture and tied it around my waist. Since then, I have never experienced any attacks against this virtue, either in my heart or in my mind. I later understood that this was one of the greatest graces which the Most Holy Virgin Mary had obtained for me, as for many years I had been asking this grace of her. Since that time I have experienced an increasing devotion to the Mother of God. She has taught me how to love God interiorly and also how to carry out His holy will in all things. O oh Mary, you are joy because through you God descended to earth and into my heart. On one occasion, I saw a servant of God in the immediate danger of committing a mortal sin. I started to beg God to deign to send down upon me all the torments of hell and all the sufferings he wished, if only this priest would be set free and snatched from the occasion of committing a sin. Jesus heard my prayer, and that very instant I felt a crown of thorns on my head. The thorns penetrated my head with great force right into my brain. This lasted for three hours. The servant of God was set free from this sin, and his soul was strengthened by a special grace of God. Once on Christmas Day, 1928, I felt the omnipotence and the presence of God surrounding me. And once more, I fled from this interior meeting with the Lord. I asked Mother Superior for permission to go to Josefinek to visit the sisters there. The Superior gave us permission, and we started to get ready right after lunch. The other sisters were already waiting for me at the door of the convent while I ran to my cell to get my cloak. On my way back, as I was passing close to the little chapel, I saw Jesus standing in the doorway. He said to me, Go ahead, but I am taking your heart. Suddenly, I felt that I had no heart in my chest, but the sisters were scolding me for lingering behind, saying that it was already getting late. So I quickly went along with them, but a sense of uneasiness troubled me.